Mellow Mushroom is a mostly East Coast franchise pizza chain founded in Atlanta, Georgia in 1974, with locations in a few states west of the Mississippi. There are five locations in the Phoenix metro area. It was MLK Day, and after a few false starts trying to find an open pizza restaurant to review, we found ourselves standing in front of the terrifying statues outside the location of Mellow Mushroom on Stabley Drive in Mesa. It's a large restaurant with a spacious patio and a full bar. The decor makes it clear that Mellow Mushroom is a euphemism for magic mushroom. The question is, does that mean one needs to be stoned to enjoy this pizza? We ordered our standard review pizza, a 14-inch pepperoni, and we also got a secondary 10-inch Italian sausage pizza. Both were served hot from the oven. The pepperoni pizza was $16.68, or at 154 square inches, about 11 cents per square inch. The smaller sausage pizza was $11.78, which works out to a relatively more expensive 15 cents per square inch. Soft drinks were an outrageous $3.29 each. The most important thing, of course, is how did we feel about the pizza when we were done? All right, so we just finished eating the mellow mushroom pizza. Um, I was very, very hungry when the pizza arrived. It tasted uh, good or all right. A little bit better than all right, but less than, oh, this is awesome. Um, the pepperoni is fine. It's a little bit too much cheese for me, but it tastes fine. But for pizza, for me, it's the crust. I'm not too crazy about the crust. It looks like cooked, but if you look at the edge, it's a little bit more doughy than normally I would prefer it. So I, I will eat here again, just not like my tablet's pizza. All right, I'll echo those sentiments on melon mushroom. This is not the first time we've eaten in melon mushroom, so it's not a surprise. But the thoughts are, yeah, the, there was a little too much cheese, or, or worse, it wasn't really fully cooked, and so it was kind of congealed. So too much cheese tends to have that happen. Um, sauce was ordinary. Uh, pepperoni was pretty, pretty bog standard pepperoni from a pack, and again, not cooked enough that it didn't taste like you just pulled it out of the packet and, and ate it like you would a snack. The crust was well browned. Um, it's a it's a soft crust, not a crunchy one. Um, it has flavor, which you know some don't. Um, the pepperoni pizza I think was cooked a little better than the sausage pizza was, which was a bit doughy. So I would have said it was fully cooked, and even cooked it was soft. The only thing I'd say is that if you look at the very closely at it, you can see that it it's brown. The color is a little browner. It looks like it's a whole wheat crust instead of a white flour crust. And when you're out in the, the, the edge of the crust, I would say you can taste it. I'll double check that, but I'm pretty sure this is at least partially a whole wheat crust, which is not actually a good thing to me, but it didn't detract too much from the pizza. Enjoyable, average, no more.